Welcome. In front of me, I have the Okitel WP36, and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, in a second, you will see that, there we go, the device is locked, so it's telling me to, to basically put in my PIN or I can use Google account to unlock it. But assuming we don't know either one of those, I'm gonna show you how we can just get rid of the verification altogether. Now, for this, we will need a computer, so hence why we're recording this using computer. And in the description, hopefully you have a link to our website, but if you don't, uh, then you can just navigate to hard reset that info and then uh, just kind of showcasing this you can search for a device now the one that I'm searching for uh, to get this guide is the Opitel uh, C21 Pro There we go And it's this one from here you want to select the bypass Google verification tile and then select the one for Android 11 12 13 uh, security patch 01 2024 and that's the same guide that I had open here uh, now, uh, on the first couple steps, you will find that we need to have a USB cable, have one prepared for this. Uh, then we need to download the universal MTK drivers and also MediaTek FRP bypass tool. Now, uh, I could download those, but I literally have a video previously, which required those uh, two programs. So I already have them downloaded. And uh, let me just kind of go back here. So this is the tool that we'll be using and here is the drivers that it, we will be using. Now when it comes down to installing the drivers, you need to pick the correct one, only one of those. Um, and you have the choice between x64 or 86. Uh, this will be dependent on how much RAM you have installed on your computer for the most part. And uh, if you don't know, what I recommend doing is trying to install the x64. And if it doesn't work, it gives you, Windows gives you an error, then just switch to the x86 and it should install no problem. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is Windows will, will most likely want to get rid of uh, both of these files. Uh, Chrome won't let you download the... What does Chrome have a problem with? Okay, so Chrome lets you download the MediaTek drivers, but it doesn't uh, let you download the MediaTek FRP bypass tool. Uh, just to kind of showcase this, if it's really freaking annoying. There we go. Uh, so, to basically download this uh, without Chrome giving you shit, uh, it's not even giving you an option to download it anyway, which is just bullshit. Considering it's your computer, you will you can download whatever the hell you want. So, fuck you, uh, Chrome. Uh, so what you can do is copy this link and open up something like, surprisingly, Edge. It's actually useful for a bit more than downloading Chrome. Uh, when it's not giving me stupid prompts. There we go. So here you can just paste it in and you will be able to download it without a problem. Now, next thing is Windows will also want to download, uh, delete those files. So you will need to navigate to settings before you download anything. Uh, then uh, select the update and security, Windows security, uh, virus and threat protection. Scroll down to virus and threat protection and check uh, there we go, uh, very simple protection settings here. And then you can select the manage settings as you've seen with the blue text right here. And there's two things you can do. Either you can turn off the real-time protection, just to kind of demonstrate this. Uh, by default, it's obviously gonna be enabled. And when you turn it off, it gives you this, come on. And we're gonna pop up, come on, seriously. Uh, in any case, 99% uh, of the time, apart from this one that I'm trying to showcase, uh, oh, I know why. Give me a sec. Yoink. There we go. So when you turn it off, it will give you this. Uh, and if you interact with this, it will automatically re-enable this. So this is a good option for people that just want to do this uh, kind of once. You can turn that off, now go through the bypass and then re-enable uh, your virus and threat protection by just interacting with this pop-up right here in your notifications. 
and it will automatically re-enable it. For everyone else who just wants to have peace of mind later on and be able to download files without Chrome or Windows uh, getting all up in their business, you can scroll down and you will find exclusions. And in here, you can add something like, for instance, the downloads folder, which uh, will be excluded from uh, Windows uh, scan. So when Windows is scanning for viruses or whatever it considers as a virus, which uh, most of the time it considers uh, softwares that are useful uh, as a as a virus, uh, it will not be scanning things like the downloads folder. So it won't be able to do anything with it. Now, uh, next, once we download these files, you want to extract them. So for that, you will need a WinRAR or 7-zip to extract these files. Once you have done so, you want to, like I mentioned before, start off with the uh, driver installer, install that. If it asks you to reboot your Windows, don't do it just yet. Open up the second uh, program, so the second thing that you have downloaded, the Universal uh, MediaTek tool. And in here, uh, you want to run MediaTek Universal tool, right click, run as admin, select tools, drivers, and again, select the same uh, x86 uh, or uh, 86 extension that you have chosen with the uh, drivers before. Once you have done so, you can then reboot your computer. Once you have rebooted it, you can have this open and here you're going to select erase FRP and you want to select start grab your device all right um, let me bring the phone so we can see it there we go so you want to grab your phone um, before you actually plug it in turn it off so hold the power button select power off and then hold the volume up and a volume down. You can see right here, both of these buttons and simply plug it in. And that's it. it automatically shows up here. So everything is going fine. And let's give it a second. It should be finished just there we go. Now, operation complete, as you can see as the last text right here. So you can unplug it. Now, once the device boots up, you can now finish up the setup. Uh, FRP is completely deleted from the device, so you can now set it up in whatever way you want. I would still recommend performing a factory reset of the device through settings just to be certain that there's nothing left over. Uh, but all in all, the tool is supposed to remove FRP, so theoretically, there should be no uh, protection left on this device whatsoever. And there we go, the device is now set up. I didn't verify anything as you've seen, so there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.